right, so let's share screen on one screen only in Zoom to see how it looks for you as the facilitator and what are some things that you need to consider. So right now I'm sharing screen. I do have one participant here with me, but um, what I would do is step one, I would minimize myself here in the corner. Um, another way you can do it too is by doing the minimize a little um, dash here to make it small like this. And uh, you can move that around as well. And then I would open up my PowerPoint presentation. I would go to slideshow and then from the beginning. So I have it all ready to go. Then I'm going to go here and make it big again. So I'm ready to go when it's time to share screen. So I'm going to share screen. My PowerPoint is already up and ready to go. So I'm not going to click this view. I'm going to click this one because it's already ready to go. And I'm going to take a screenshot on my phone because that's where the other participant is. And I'm going to insert it um, as well. So screenshot. Now what I did want to test out um, as well is the detail of annotating on the slide and can you do that um, and some other tips on how to set yourself up the best way you can when you are sharing a PowerPoint with just one screen. So now if I click on the slide deck uh, with my cursor um, or on the keyboard with the down symbol, I'm bringing it to the next slide. So again, the the participants are not seeing my floating bar. They are only seeing the slide. So I can right here make it grid view and I can make this bigger, which would show more people. I can also, I want to demonstrate here, other people can be annotating on this. Um, I'll demonstrate here on my secondary view. So I could use the pen and I can also click on my floating bar here, the annotate button, and that opens up this floating bar. Again, they cannot see this, so I can click T for text, and, and I can click away from that, and that will work. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of my participant view and to stop annotation, I, well, I can first of all also save this, um, this slide, what everybody has typed. I need to then X out of that floating bar in order to get back to my slide. Now, of course, I would also want to clear all drawings before I continue to the next slide. And then everything continues from there. An additional detail is sharing a video um, as well on one screen. So let's take a look at how to do that next. All right, so if I want to embed a video, I can just click this little video sign here if I have the video already on my computer and it's a downloadable video that we want to play. Part of it too is clicking here the playback if you want it to be clickable or if you want it to automatically play um, as well. And you wanna make sure the volume is up. Um, and then I will remind you about sharing screen with the, with the computer sound as well. This is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Education Okay, this is one of the popular videos getting you close for my to help I'm here. Nine, okay. the, <laughs> 9 500 views even better when you're embedding it in your PowerPoint presentation you want to click embed and you can click you know at a different start time as well but if you want to take the whole video click embed and then show player controls is right here um, as well and then you want to click copy so now that I have the 
the video embed code. If you insert video, so you click insert up at the top in PowerPoint, and then go to video here, it will say this device or online video. So you click online video, and then that embed code is what you're going to paste there. Okay, and then you, it will show you demonstration here, insert. Just takes a moment and then I'll show you um, an, another way to. All right, so now let's share screen. Share screen, my full PowerPoint that is ready to go and the host, uh, it just shows on the participant view, just the slide deck. I can see more people here if I make this bigger. I can only see so many. Um, so some things I wanna watch out for is if an, my participant puts up their, their hand, that is going to show up here. And it will show a little, um, it, it will bump them to the top too, um, as well. So if they were farther down, then um, it would bump them up to the top, but it also um, is here. And also if a participant decides to chat and send a question, then that will show up here as well. So um, you wanna watch out for that too. And that's where even if you can't see everyone, look into the camera, talk about your slides, then click to your next slide um, and you can still annotate and you can clear all drawings, X out, go to the next slide. You just have to click on the slide. Now, even though your, let's go here, I'm gonna check my view. So even though it, you are seeing people on top of the video, the video for the participants is working just fine. So that is the example of the uh, video embedded. And I will just pause that right there. So again, in the middle of the question, I could be clicking here to check out the question. One thing to watch out for. Welcome back. Plain, We're going to look at how you, you can open up the chat. It will pause your video. So do be aware of, of that. Um, and, and then what you can do is click at the bottom or on your slide deck to get to the next slide. Um, so it's, it's cleared up. That, that one you was... asked for my help, I'm here. How cool I'm that? Ready. So that one I set up to play automatically. You are gonna see some other videos here. It's linking to the internet, um, but you can pause it. And that's why you needed to share with the, the video um, options so that you can start and stop. Um, and I can show you that again. So having it go when clicked on is probably a good way to go um, or just pause it and but especially if you're getting it ready and you're just coming back from a break and you're getting it set up so I'm going to go small like that get this ready to go in the background I also want to lower participants hand clear all feedback there we go now the other option we've got the video ready in the background um, and now what we're going to do is share screen and we see the YouTube here now what we could do is the advanced portion of screen we want to click share sound share and then we could have this also set up already in the background so you could have tested that out before opening the meeting now you're going now you're ready when everyone's there it's share sound portion of screen what our participants are seeing 
And so if you are on the bottom here, they're going to see that. But in the green, they're only seeing this portion. They're not seeing um, this information on the side or other videos advertised. They're only seeing this. We have shared screen with the video embedded as a file that you have on your computer. You've inserted it into the PowerPoint. You don't even need to be... Um, linking to YouTube at all, and that plays very well. But if you don't have the video file and you're embedding the video, so having it open and ready behind the scenes, click share. I'm going back to basic for that one. That's my PowerPoint. I can click play. You ask for my help. I can adjust the volume here. I can skip ahead. I can pause, and then I can click on the slide to it to go forward to the next slide. So, and then I can sh stop share. If I'm in immersive view, it will go back on to um, immersive view. And from a phone, it's showing up as a circle. I'll link the Zoom immersive view uh, video uh, here as well uh, in the corner so that, uh, and in the description so that you can watch that video as well. But because I'm on a phone, it's showing in circle. I think it depends on your device. Uh, definitely make sure that you update your Zoom so you're on the latest version. I'll link that video as well. And hopefully this is helpful to you. In the future, I will definitely share a, a creative video about two screens. There's some nuances with that. But if you're using just one screen, these are some things to keep in mind that when you are sharing a, uh, a PowerPoint and you're going to the you know, next slide, you can still be checking things like the, um, the participants or chat, but if you have a video in the background, it will pause that. So that's a little bit about sharing screen when you are one, uh, one screen and some of the, the different ways that you can do that. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. I hope that this was uh, giving you some light bulb learning moments and that you're able to facilitate engaging experiences for your audience to turn them into participants. Thanks for watching or listening on our podcast or blog. And I invite you to check out the other videos and resources and options. You're welcome to join our email list and then you would get that week's um, expanded blog with the tutorial video directly into your inbox. I also invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you find out when the next video is available for you. Quick tips, to, uh, tutorials, helping you facilitate engaging experiences. And until next time, thanks for watching. Now, in regards to the question that I get about seeing your speaker notes, I'm gonna answer that next. So in that case, it's better if you have your notes printed out in front of you or you just know what you're gonna say based on the points on the slide. Um, you may have a different tip uh, regarding this. Please put it below if you have another alternate way that you're working with one, one um, monitor and no second screen or anything like that. If you have other tips for, for our community of facilitators here, I welcome that as well.